uh, now i uh, will go on uh, with uh, the next talk is by dr satanshu mathur he is the chief instructor of this uh, session hello uh, dr mathur you all know he is uh, practicing in haldwani and uh, he is one of the very very good uh, cataract and refractive surgeon and uh, you must have seen him ssd and dstc and all like he always holds all these ssds in all the conferences and a well known person so he is going to talk on i will damaged unhappy patient i will exchange made easy thank you rajender we have seen the good cataracts how to manage the complication we have seen pcr is there how to manage the lenses now even after that if you put the lens inside everything is good now how to satisfy the unhappy patients so they are there are many indications for iol exchange nowadays a long iol power wrong iol power calculation unhappy patient especially the multifocal lens what we are having fellow following this patient having halos problem they are creating havoc in the clinic so we have to exchange even the good lens with passive vision we have to exchange it because of the halos and other things this location on lens that was initially positioned but changed after later on poor positioning of the lens with their pcr even then you have put the lens side lens is decentered so these are and or damage to an iol to haptic during the insertion so these are the common things when we have to make there are many techniques you can apply any technique we cannot show any all technique in 5 minutes time so if you want do not want if you want to enlarge in season you do ssc in season 6 mm you can implant, explant the lens easily no issue but if you do not want to enlarge the in season then we have limited options and that is a, we are going to discuss today so this is a case that was came to me from the neighbor city patient was not happy because he was having plus 4 diopter spherical power for near he is to use 7 diopter so in that city nobody advised him to remove the lens everybody advised us ever use the spectacles vision is good for with the glasses you should not get change but patients are not satisfied nowadays the glasses will slow diopter other i was emetropic so i thought if i do not remove some other will remove it so i can't be doing one month before surgery i just see how good surgery was done by my friend in the neighbor city i was really impressed by his surgery but i motivate the patient i make him understand surgery is very good there may be some calculation mistake by is machine dependent so you don't worry about it so things is this so how we are can expand this is a simple technique because iol was implanted recently we can dislocate it easily outside the back but sim we have to take care of two things only posterior capsule and cornea so we have to inject lot of scholastic during the surgery should not allow chamber to collapse any time it was recently operated so we could easily expand it into the anterior chamber so once the lens is in the anterior chamber it is managed by a simple forceps cutting forceps scissor you this is easily available 5 6 000 rupees on all the stalls almost nowadays so we should have this season in our ot it is really very helpful many 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 times though though you don't want to use it but it is your you can say use it madhuri you aapki madhuri hai ki aapko ye nikalna hi padega so once this is simple scissor we just cut not through and through this hydrophilic lens we have cut not up to the center but up to the less than center there are many techniques if you remove this lens now even it will come out but to show you different techniques i am just making one more in season so we make a curve triangle type curve and we will fast forward kaise kare so we will are making another another cut so ek a triangle is cut here even i am saying if if we are doing one cutting you can remove the lens easily it will come out but we have done the, uh, one more cut triangle and now we are enlarging in season to 2.8 mm so we can remove this lens from the same port same size that we are doing the fake no need of any suture so one part is removed now you rotate the lens just hold with a simple forcep with the it should have serrated serration inside it hold it 
and pull it. At the site of the wound, it is acts as a fulcrum, and you can easily remove this lens from 2.8 mm incision. So this is a very simple technique, and you can manage it. So then I'm not going to show you the plant. So that is done by the second video. Then. Another video. This is another video. This is OPC fed lens. We are nowadays seeing a lot of cases in our OPD. Operated by us and operated by our colleagues long time back. I don't know what about new lenses they will OPC after 10 years. But this case was operated by my colleague somewhere. Uh, we don't know what, which lens it is. Almost 12 years back. Patient is six, less than 660 vision. So we have no choice but to remove it. And in this case, we were confident because patient was already not having vision. In the first case, patient was having sympathy vision, so we were slightly worried during the removal. So a lot of adhesions are there. So we have to be very cautious and very patient in these cases. Just inject scholastry behind the iris, below the lens, above the lens, and try to pull out the lens. Again, the same way, you have to be very patient. Yes, lens has come out into the chamber. Now, you have other of same because we have our topic is on the scissor, so we are showing the same places. Otherwise, there are many other techniques which we are using for this IO removal. So, again, we are enlarging the scissor to 2.8 millimeter. And this, this case, we are putting a scaffold lens behind it because this lens is thick, so we don't want to scissor to injure the post capsule. We have injected the scaffold lens of the desired power behind the lens. Now we are sure that we are not going to damage the posterior capsule. Now we have to take care only the anterior capsule. So lens is already in the position, second lens. And now in this lens, we have to hold the IOL because it is moving around and cut the scissors. The other side port is just to hold the lens. So that is helping in cutting the lens. And then we have a small cut and we have removed. In the first case, we have made the two cuts, triangle move. In this case, directly by first cut, we are removing the lens because at the cutting edge is acting at the fulcrum at the side of the bone. We have removed the lens. So this thing is very easy. Seems difficult, but it is very easy and you can manage easily. Other lens is already in the position. Third, third video, dekha dena. This is another case. This is very common, in, especially with the Indian cartridges, that lens haptic of tip get broken. You see, this is a hydrophobic lens, and during insertion, the tip is broken at the edge. This tip is broken. So, so tip is broken. Sorry, haptic is broken. We cannot keep this lens there. Now, previously we were keeping this lens there because we were afraid of removing it. So, whatever happened, we'll see later on. But your colleague is going to mail a hell of you when you see the broken haptic. So, you better to remove it nowadays. So, in this hydrophobic lens, we have to cut through and through. Because this is a very hard lens. So, we have cut through and through. And then we can remove the lens one by one, the all pieces. So, this is... <laughs> Just cutting and then removing it. So there are many techniques to handle this case. I'm not will take more time. So because there are other speakers. So I want to emphasize only one thing. You can use any technique, but you should be familiar with the lens removal nowadays. It is you cannot keep the broken haptic, broken uh, broken optic inside the eye. Thank you very much. Now Thank you. A... Thank you, Dr. Sutanchu, for the beautiful videos and uh, very beautiful techniques you have shown how to explain these. Uh, IOLs. Uh, a very simple query like uh, when you are uh, implanting, uh, uh, explanting the the opacified IOL or the hydrophilic IOL or hydrophobic IOL, what difference you find? 
is also expert of this removing the yeah. polyhydrate <laughs> yeah. so deepak will yeah. deepak will answer this yeah uh, sir it's actually very simple to remove a hydrophilic lens but uh, the hydrophobic lenses are much more thicker much more tenacious and uh, they are much more difficult especially the multi piece lenses uh like the you know ma60 ac or the sensor multi piece they are very thick uh, the secret here again you know uh, you have to use good viscoelastic and the scissors have to have serrations i usually prefer to have a bimanual technique the second instrument has to stabilize otherwise if you just go and cut with any scissors it's going to flip and jump yes. it's going to cause a damage to the collar endothelium as well as this the hydrophobic lenses the hydrophilic lenses are very soft you cut you don't cut you can remove either way it's fine but hydrophobic lenses you need to be very careful use good viscoelastic create space using a cohesive ovd so that your scissors don't damage the excess margin the posterior capsule and the endothelium stabilize the lens with the second instrument use uh, the forceps i prefer to use the osher serrated forceps uh, that is uh, inexpensive and does the job well uh, and second thing sir the deepak uh, what about the opacified lenses opacified lenses are usually hydrophilic lenses what i have removed so far but if the the challenge here is sir if the lens is quite for quite some time in the elderly patient saving the bag itself sometimes the bag and the haptics are so glued together in the process of maneuvering the lens out you may lose the bag if you have such a situation a long standing case just ampute the haptic leave the haptic in the bag itself remove the optic put a multi piece lens so that the remaining space of the box bag is occupied by these lenses so, so don't be over zealous in removing trying to remove the haptic because yeah. that can disturb the bag so many times because these uh, opacified lenses are calcified also yes so if if they are calcified then it will become very difficult to cut and remove and uh, the one very uh, simple technique what you can add to this is uh, when you are cutting the lens one of the haptic you pull it out of the wound when you pull it out hold the haptic out of the wound that stabilizes the lens and that will uh, prevent the flipping of the lens also so have, have you tried uh, this uh, yes sir uh, but only thing is sometimes when you are holding it tight the wound gets torn a little bit uh, because of that that's the one concern which i have all right uh, because of that uh, otherwise that's a good technique to really hold the lens